This is the July 20th edition of Gunfighter News. I'm Airman First Class Jay Lee Gay. Mountain Home Air Force Base received a visit from the commander of the 12th Air Force last week. Lieutenant General Robin Rand spent three days visiting gunfighters as part of his wing immersion tour of all the bases under his command. During his visit, he held three separate commander's calls and visited with several units to experience a full spectrum of gunfighter talents. Yeah, that'll work. He also took to the air in an F-15 for a familiarization flight and took part in a deployed environment demonstration with gunfighters from the 366th Mission Support Group. Monday was a great day for the gunfighter family as the 726th returned home from deployment. Airman Jacob Combs has the story. More than 200 airmen from the 726th Air Control Squadron returned home from Southwest Asia early this week. Members of this unit have been deployed since January 2012 in support of Operation Enduring Freedom. 726 personnel tackle a widespread mission including enemy surveillance and identification, weapons control, and theater air defense. Reporting from Mountain Home Air Force Base, Idaho, I'm Airman Jacob Combs. Now it's time for a look at some Mountain Home moments. Families, friends, and coworkers wait for the return of the 726th Air Control Squadron July 16th after a six-month deployment to Southwest Asia. Fifteen two-man teams of anglers from the 366 Logistics Readiness Squadron competed in their fourth annual bass tournament July 12th at the Strike Dam Arena. Fourteen airmen and four vehicles from Mountain Home Air Force Base were dispatched to Mountain Home to support efforts to control the Benwalk Fire July 9th, 2012. And that's it for this week's Gunfighter News. I'm Airman First Class, Jay Legate.